Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the game user settings set resolution scale value? So I'm gonna start off the video with this. Working in the editor with things like the resolution and scale value, things can go hectic, but bear with me as we try to get through this properly. And the scale resolution value is kind of a little bit complicated and really annoying, which you'll see here shortly. So let's go ahead and look at how it works. Let me go ahead and play and, of course, stop this because I did it wrong from the start and run it from over here. Right now we're running in windowed mode. We should be running at 1280 by 720, which, okay, it looks like we were. So we're good there. And we have frame rate going. Let me shut that off. And we're running at 50% resolution scale right now. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you look at my character, you look at this little cube here, and you look at this sphere, they look kind of weird. They're a little bit jaggy. Well, that's because we're actually rendering at a 50% scale. While I am telling it to run at 1280 by 720, it's actually rendering at half of that, or 50%, for better performance. Now if I drag this up, and let's go for 100%, and hit apply, you'll notice everything becomes smoother again. Because we're running at, now, 1280 by 720 for the resolution. And if I was to drag it back down to any of these values, it's going to be appropriate. But you'll notice something here. I can go from 100 to 50, but I can't go below 50. Now, if I was to actually, let's say, go back up to 100 and hit apply, and let's change this to something like, hmm, let's go with 1600 by 1200. No, that's too wide. Let's go with 1440 by 900. We'll go with that. And you'll see, here's my resolution. And I was to drag this down. Well, you notice now 40 is my lower limit. And I hit apply, and now it looks super pixely. If I was to drop this to 1280 by 720 and hit apply, and drag my bar, where you notice now it's back to 50 for my lower limit. Resolution scale. The scaling itself has a lower limit based on your display limit for the screen you're using, for the rendering resolution, for the game itself. Bunch of words, but basically 100% is going to be your max, and the minimum will vary based on the actual resolution that you have. So if I was to run it something like 1920 by 1080, and I was to check my lower limit, you'll notice it's now 33%. The engine kind of has a minimum on the amount of resolution it's going to be able to render to. So the less resolution you give it, therefore a small resolution like this where it doesn't have much to work with, the minimum, the, the higher the minimum it's going to need. So it's only going to go 50%. Whereas if I'm running it 1920 by 1080, I can now render it 33%. It's all relatively going to look the same. And let me actually show you what I mean by in terms of working. If we go to 1280 by 720, let's go to 1280 by 800. That's an even number. And hit apply. Now I'm at 1280 by 800. Let's find our minimum resolution. It's going to be 45% and hit apply. Now let's actually go into our game user settings file and take a look at it. So here's how the scaling works. Basically, you have your resolution that you're running the game at. So it's running at 1280 by 800 in a window. However, the renderer is going to be attempting to render at the desired screen width, which is 576 by 360, which, if we were to look at here, is going to be a 45% reduction. So that's how it works in terms of the rendering resolution scale. It's a way of giving you better performance, without having to change your screen size and how much actual real estate you have. And also one thing you may have noticed is our UI has not changed at all. It is not part of the rendering pass for the 3D resolution scale. So it's going to still stay smooth, even though this may become jaggy in the background. So let's say we go 1920 by 1080 and we hit apply. And then we did, oh, 100%, you'll notice this is smooth, and our UI is smooth. 33%, our game itself is now looking really blocky and pixely, but our UI is still smooth. Now that I've covered what it is, let's go ahead and look at the node we're actually covering here. So the node is the set resolution scale value. 
basically, like we saw on our bar, we had a 33% or 45% or 50 or 100. That's going to be our scale value. Simple as that. 100% is full scale, so it's going to match the resolution. Our file here, basically, let's run this again. Let's set this to 100% and hit apply. Uh, let's, let's drop this to 12 by 720, 100% and hit apply. And let's go ahead and look at our file again. Like I said, there's a lot to go over here. When we have a resolution size, 1280 by 720, matching our desired screen width, 1280 by 720, that's our 100% resolution scale value. That's it. It's as simple as that. So if I wanted to set it to a certain value, let's say 50%, I would just take my game user settings, run my set resolution scale value, and type in whatever percentage I want. Now you are going to run into a few issues here. If you set it to a value below where you can get to, in my case, 25% and my minimum determined minimum is 50, it's going to basically clamp it to the minimum. If you set a maximum over 100, you're going to get 100. You basically have a value between the minimum and 100. Now, how you determine that is from this node, which is covered in a separate video. This node has its own quirks, of course. But you could always query if you wanted an accurate scale bar, for example. This node, get the current minimum scale value and the maximum scale value and feed that into your slider or spinner or something like that, and you'd have valid ones. Keep in mind, your minimum scale, again, is dependent on your screen resolution. That's it. That's going to wrap up the set resolution scale value takes in the game user settings as the target, takes in a scale value, which is a float between 0 and 100. Keep in mind the minimum will be clamped at whatever the minimum scale value is determined by the engine itself. That's determined by your resolution itself. And it's only going to affect the actual rendering portion of the game, the 3D rendering portion. Things such as your UI will not be affected.